work is really significant for contribution from a large number of members. And as is uh, customary, we give them some input into the naming of the boat. To that end, um, I'd like Dino to reveal the name of the boat. Oh, really? Yeah. Together. <laughs> it's him, but he's still holding his nerve with the camera. <laughs> um, the reason it's going to be hard to talk about this, but. The only reason I even accepted that I put a name for because I know a lot of people at Wesley's put great money in on this boat. So he was not, I really didn't want to come up with a name personally, but what we thought about and I spoke to um, Nick and PBR and others in the club. And for those who don't know, um, and you know, it's still a long time ago, but you still, it still hurts. But uh, 1993, we lost. Um, a, a son in the content. Giving a time, and I guess the, the reason that I wanted to um, put Trent Damon, uh, Trent's my son today, and he's a strapping 19, nearly 20 year old bloke. Damon was, uh, you know, a very important part of Trent, and uh, I look at Trent, and he's a, I'm very proud of my son and my daughter Felicity, who's at art today. I can say, she knows about this, so, um, you know, but she's, she studies special art, so she had to study today, but uh, her thoughts are definitely here and she was rapt to hear about it. Being a young bloke, I wanted to, I didn't communicate, Suzanne was incredible during that time when we lost Damon, and uh, I just didn't know how to communicate or seek help. and. And I think what uh, the SIDS Foundation and SIDS and Kids, what they've done in the years since has been remarkable. And I thought if this can have a proactive outcome, um, you know, and raise awareness, and they have done that over, over many years now. So uh, basically, as I said, we lost Damon. I got, um, I wouldn't communicate. I actually suffered panic disorder. I had a lot of troubles. Um, as you do as a 23 year old, you don't exactly expect to outlive your own son, really. Um, it was pretty mortifying to be honest, but the thing that was awesome, it strengthened Suzanne and I, and she can agree with that in ways you can't describe. It sort of makes or breaks a relationship to be honest with you. Um, and uh, but then, you know, I sought help, and that's what I'd say to people, if you know anyone that suffers from this sort of tragedy, um, is to communicate with them, offer your help. You don't have to understand or explain or just be there for them. And um, I got some help, but then I, you know, enjoyed food, enjoyed wine, had a good life, tried to live, you know, full on, bury myself into my career. But um, the reason that Westies is a special part of me, and I'm sure for Suzanne was Deb Mason, uh, she got into rowing and got Suzy involved, and I was uh, 125 kilos. I like to say I was jab of the heart, I was a pretty big boy. <laughs> so, um, you know, and I decided I still wasn't balanced in my life, to be honest. And I was, that was in 1999, 2000. And um, Suzanne said, why don't you keep rowing the go? Thanks. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a wonderful sport. And in the process of 18 months, and I mean, Suzanne and Deb are, you know, they're like sisters, so I'm sure. Yeah, she's hiding. <laughs> I proceeded to lose 40 kilos, more importantly I found work-life balance and my desire was, and I look at my son and my daughter today, I wanted to run around and catch them and have fun and thankfully I think, and Trent would agree, they wouldn't have known me as that big bloke. They'd known me as this guy that's done half Ironman, who's rode, who's mountain bike Europe and, and all I'd say to people, my favourite saying really is carpe diem, it's a bit cheesy, it's from Dead Poets Society but it's true, make every day count live your life to the fullest and if looking at that name i hope you take that message make every day count guys and thank you very much we're very humble by this today thanks um, there's a out there. Um, the big fundraiser for sids for kids is the last friday in june so two weeks from yesterday um, and that's red nose day 
So keep an eye out for that and support that wherever you can as well. So congratulations guys. Uh, hope you enjoy that. And uh, give that, uh, that bottle a clout. Yeah, give it a good clout. No, no tapping. <laughs> you gotta make it break, huh? You gotta make it break. You probably wanna hit it around about the middle and with a decent clout. And don't stand behind it. <laughs> Push out the thread then, mate. Yeah. Not a carry on this, huh? Don't drop it over on the boat, yeah. On top of the bottom, mate. Hold that on.